In this video we share Medjugorje visionary Vitska on how Satan seduces souls. The following text is part of an interview from 2000 that the seer Vitska had with Father Livio during a program on Radio Maria. Through the answers, readers will be able to see in him an authentic witness of this gracious time, not to mention her deep spirituality and her permanent and intimate union with the Lord and Our Lady. Father Livio asks. Vitska, many people want to meet you, including people who do not believe in the apparitions of Our Lady in Medjugorje, but would like to. What do you think about that? Vitska responds, we believers should be more aware of how immeasurable the gift of faith is and feel the need to devote time to prayer every day and be a good example to others. The excuses offered by unbelievers who think that God should intervene directly are invalid. It takes a personal commitment of each person to gain God's grace, and God, who is a Father full of mercy, will not fail to answer us. God is infinite love. So, with prayer, we should strive to know the revealed truth and stay away from evil. Unfortunately, Satan is a tireless seducer, he hides evil under a good appearance, he tempts people, especially young and weak families today, forcing them to prefer fleeting joys, which undoubtedly lead to tragic misfortune. Father Livio asks, how can we live this time of grace? Vitska responds. Our Lady has said several times that this time of the Jubilee year is a moment of great grace and that she would like to give us many more messages, but she cannot because we have not listened to the ones she has already given us. We have lost that initial fervor. That is why she insists that we pray and fast. She hopes that we will choose to listen to her. The lady is very patient. At the end of each message from the 25th, she adds, thank you for responding to my call, and she does this to encourage us to respond even more to her requests. We are in a time of great grace and conversion and we should take advantage of it. Our Lady also says that many people listen to the messages, but then they get tired of it and don't care. She is happy when we take the messages seriously and live them day by day, little by little, with constancy, instead of listening to them with great fervor and then forgetting about them. You should not worry about tomorrow, but worry about living God's will today, because this moment is the most important in our earthly existence, today and not tomorrow. Satan is a tireless tempter. The evil that hides behind a good appearance and tempts people with fleeting joys that can lead to tragic misfortune. After 20 years of devoted service to Medjugorje pilgrims, Vitska married on January 26, 2002 at the age of 37. She and her husband and two children now live in Gruda, a small village a few miles north of Medjugorje. Vitska's life is more private now, though she still makes herself available to pilgrims from time to time. She continues to see Our Lady every day in the apparitions, has received nine secrets, and awaits the tenth, along with visionaries Maria and Yavan. She continues to suffer for the plans of Our Lady to be fulfilled, though we will never know for certain, as that smile will always hide the cross that she carries. Please support my channel by liking this video and watching another. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.